I'm not going to get any more good tattoos. It's nothing too trendy anymore. It's boring. So I'm going to stick with like logos and shit. You know, band and logos and stuff. So, you know, I think tattoos are kind of fucking cheesy. Oh, Phil Core with a fist with spikes and skull rings. Pretty awesome, huh? <laughs> Sucks. Strength and Cowboys from Hell, you can't even read it anymore. I was a very uh, willful young man. So strength in the side of the head, I, I still kind of like that one. I'm a proud fellow. Been through a lot, but so has the guy down the street too. You know, it's like I realize, you know, I couldn't walk in your shoes. You can't walk in mine. You know, we all got a job to do. You know, so either way, I, I think the strength tattoos. Uh, just when I was a young man, I screamed for individualism and, and whatnot. You know, whatever. On the fat gut, look at that sucker. Oh. Hey, once again, young brashness, you know, unscarred. Little did I know my forehead would look like a championship wrestler's eventually, and back surgery, and broken bones, and I'd be known as the evil Knievel of heavy metal. So it's like, you know, I've racked this skeleton to shreds. So once again, a young, boisterous bull. Body and blood, joint pain, life is and death, you know, it's, it's like a, kind of a summation of what you were all going to go through eventually, you know, so, and at least that's what I thought when I was like 20 or something like that, you know, so at 45, it's like, I don't really care. I just figured it summed up everything, and then I guess it also kind of uncovered this Catholic something or other that is embedded in psyche from living in New Orleans and whatnot. But I am not a religious man at all, so 